So uh, my name is Dr. Edwina Luck and I have been an academic at QUT for nearly 20 years and before that I was at Central Queensland University. So we have, um, we've always modified editions, obviously the, we've looked at the table of contents and this one we made a big decision to combine um, combine chapters uh, two and three, which is um, the communication process and persuasion. So they are now one chapter, but we've also, we, we had one digital and social media chapter. So we have fleshed that out because they are very different areas and they have grown a lot since the last edition. So we're, we're excited to, to have digital and uh, social media chapters. Each chapter, we were lucky enough to get in um, during and uh, well during the COVID um, nineteen pandemic. So we have been able to put in not only comments throughout the entire book, but we also have IMC actions, which and intro um, intro chapter uh, stories that really touch on this. So for, from our perspective, the content that has been added, has been allowed to be added with the, the COVID theme really makes this a standout book. We are definitely um, first to move in this space when it comes to looking at different forms of communication during and after the pandemic. So we are really, this is a, a really hot aspect for us. Um, the IMC insights, we've also tweaked those. So they've got a specific theme and there is four or five in each particular chapter. So they also will reflect uh, not only COVID, but, you know, contemporary and um, very um, brands that, and companies that students will actually um, know. So these offer, these, these IMC um, insights and reflective cases can help uh, lecturers with tutorial content because they're nice and small, they're easy to read, they're great conversation starters and to talk about and they tie in obviously with the themes that are, that are um, spoken about or written about in the particular chapters. And the other thing that um, I'm really excited about is um, and this was in the last edition as well, but in uh, we talk about the SIVA process, which is the four P's turned upside down because the four P's are very old and everyone knows the four P's, but the SIVA process is much, much more current and much more 21st century, which we've always stated in our book. So we, we now bring the SIVA process in, in chapter one, not just chapter two, which was the last edition. And this theme is carried through the entire book. SIVA stands for Solutions, Information, Value and Access. So basically in a really tiny nutshell, consumers, we don't buy, we don't buy products and services necessarily. We buy solutions. So, the way we market and communicate with people is where we're actually marketing a solution. We're not saying, you know, buy this iPhone. We're actually saying this particular phone will be able to provide the solution of communicating with your friends via text, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, so we, we unpack the SIVA process uh, a lot in chapter one, but also more so in chapter two, but then we keep referring to it in consequence, um, consequential chapters. There, I think, you know, when you look at traditional tools, radio has made a comeback. Digital radio has always been popular, but digital and radio now, um, and for, the, for this year, 2020, they've been really uh, keeping people up to date. So that's a, an advertising and marketing space to watch. Podcasts, they're growing out of control. Um, you can advertise on some podcasts. So, so that's a space. Um, new digital platforms, you know, TikTok's taken the world by storm at the moment. Insta is still popular. Um, but I think you've got to step back and go, okay, it's not about influences, which it never really was anyway, but it's about engagement and it's about stories and storytelling. So 
these spaces, I'm looking forward to seeing where they go. And